All right, traders, within this video, we're going to be going over how to trade the best setups at the best prices for this week. I'm going to prepare you to trade the best setups at the best prices. We're going to be going over the top stock options that I'm going to be watching into this week. This video is going to give you a much better trading understanding, a planning understanding on when to be bullish, when to be long biased, when to buy the stock, where to set the price target, where to set the stop loss, and also the inverse as we trade both ways when to be bearish, when to be short biased, when to buy the put options, where to get in, where to set your price target, where to set your stop loss. So without further ado, let's get right into the in-depth price action analysis. Make sure you smash that like button. So first things first, let's go over the SPY. In terms of the SPY, we had a massive green day. The market is currently up 1.61% on the day. As you can see, it closed at 445.04. If you look right here, we got major resistance at 445.75 with big downside potential as it likes to quickly drop to the 437 range. You could also see we got more major resistance at 445, 444.73, and 444.11, right? So we got a lot of resistance in between this 444 to 445.75 zone. And we do have a gap to fill above at 447.57. And then we have another gap to fill above at 451.03. What has been trying? SPY has been trying to turn your previous resistance right here, this previous month's resistance at 437, into a support level for now one, two, three, four days in a row. And today's the day where it tried to break above this 445.75. But as you can see, it couldn't quite do it. It got to a high of 445.80, and it is currently trading at 443.46. So a lot of people are saying this is a fake run up. It's going to crash. My response to them is it's a fake run up if it can crack and turn this key level into resistance, which is going to be $442.50. If it can crack this 442.50 and turn that into a resistance level, it's most likely going to be a fake run up and go back to the 438 range. Now, if it continues to hold above 442.50, I don't think it's going to be a fake run up and it's going to attempt to break above this major resistance at 445.80. If we do break above 445.80 and turn that into a support level, that's going to be a clear shift. That's going to be a clear trend reversal. As you can see, you got major support here as well, 443.80. You got a lot of wicks here at $443.50. If we can maintain above this 443.50, 442.50 zone, turn that into support, SPY is going to be on track for a breakout to fill this gap at 447.57. If this gap fill reacts as a resistance level, SPY is going to have a hard sell off back to about $442. If that cracks, it goes back to 438. If the SPY can break above and turn this gap fill level into support, we will be on track for a second gap fill to 451.03. So in terms of your key levels and what I want you to understand, I want you to think of in terms of make it or break it. Think of 443.50 and 442.50 as your make it or break it support levels. If it holds up, if it remains support, we're going to be on track for the gap fill level, which is going to be your make it or break it at resistance level, along with this make it or break it resistance level, which is at 447.57 and 451.03. Um, in terms of the hard sell off, if 442.50 cracks, it's a hard sell off back to 437. So we are sitting at some make it or break it resistance. We'll see if that support can come in. Um, in terms of, you know, what are my thoughts on this on this chart? What are my thoughts on this daily candlestick? This big bullish green candlestick at previous resistance right here now turned to support for multiple days. It's trying to break out. This is very, very bullish in my opinion, um, but we need to hold 442.50 to continue to run. I think if we could stay above that level and not quickly go under like it's been doing right here, right here, right here, right here multiple times, right? If we can continue to stay above 442.50 to 443.50, SPY is going to be on track for a gap fill play. So that's the price action both ways, right? So we went over what happens if it cracks, what happens if it breaks out and holds. We went over the both ways in terms of the price action. Um, in terms of puts, the best prices would be 447.57 for a gap close reversal. Even better, this would be the best price. This is where I would go heavy and hit it with some size. $451.03. That's where I would love to swing trade some puts on the SPY. 
So we'll see if it can hold that key level and get up there um, within this week. Um, we are currently sitting at you know some key make it or break it levels on the SPY. In terms of the chart, it is looking micro bullish, but it has to stay above 442.50 in order to continue to run. In terms of Netflix, Netflix is attempting to break out. Um, there was a gap to fill at 1,022.37. If, ne if um, excuse me, not Netflix, if Tesla goes under this 1,022.37, I'll look to grab puts. If not, then some levels I'm looking at are 1,057 and the best level for puts would be 1,091.26. Those are the main things that I'm looking for. Um, just understand if 1,022, if the high of this channel turns into support, it's gonna be on track to break out and to continue to go up like SPY to fill these gaps. You got a gap to fill above at 1,057, got another gap to fill at 1,091. That's what I want you to understand about Tesla stock. Um, Netflix. Netflix had a massive um, gap down due to earnings. I believe they lost like 2 million subscribers. Um, the low is currently 256. It closed at 258.90. I think it's down over 24% or something like that. So in terms of key support levels, in terms of what can happen, you could see last time it had a massive gap down. It quickly bottomed out. The second day is the day it bottomed out with the screen bullish pin. And then it started skyrocketing. We're most likely going to see a very similar move. So I want you to keep Netflix on your radar for a potential dip buy an opportunity, not right away. we got to wait for the green bullish candlesticks to come in on the daily. The green bullish pins like last time. Um, in terms of key overall support zones, let's take a look at the chart here. So we do have a gap to fill at 227.58. That would be one of the best levels to buy Netflix at 227.58. As you can see right here, this is going to be a level of interest as well. We have a lot of support at $236 and $249. So those are going to be the key support levels that I'm keeping on my radar for a Netflix uh, swing trade. That's mainly what I'm interested in doing is swing trading this. As we are due for some recovery, we are due for some sort of bounce. It's most likely going to quickly happen. So um, yeah, I'm going to look for a similar move like, like uh, last time. As you can see right here, where it gapped down from the earnings, it bottomed out on day two and it bottomed when it formed this green bullish pin candlestick. And then a couple days after that, it skyrocketed. So I'm gonna look for a similar move, wait for the bullish confirmations to come in Netflix. That's gonna be a top watch into this week. Um, in terms of Kayla stock, this is not looking good. This is looking bearish. You got a nice keyhole round number with some downside potential at 710. I'm waiting for the gap to fill at 710. And if we can react as a resistance, I'll ride this back down to the low sixes with some puts with a short position. So I'm looking for a gap close reversal on case of stock, waiting for the gap to fill at 710 to short the resistance, to short the double top. As you can see, that gap did end up filling during extended hours, which was a great opportunity to short the stock pre-market, which is possible to do if you're using the right brokers who um, you know have the shares to short on these hard to borrow stocks. So um, that's something I'm keeping on my radar. For a move back to about 570. Um, VERU, you know, this is starting to trend up a little bit. As you can see right here, we got a lot of key support. We got a lot of support coming in towards this uh, 1150, this 1150, 1170, 1190 strong support. Had a big move up here. What I'm looking at is we got a gap to fill. We got a gap to fill 1495. It's bottoming out at key support. Today was the first green day. If we can stay green tomorrow, it's going to really start to fill that gap. If we can continue to stay above this 1155 support level. So if 1150s keeps on holding, and if we can break above this 1270 to 1280, 1290 resistance, we're going to be on track for a gap fill at 1495. 1495 would be the best price to buy puts on this stock. So I'm looking for a potential dip buying opportunity. I'm also waiting for a potential shorting, a put opportunity when it goes back to 1495 to fill the gap. I think it has a good shot of filling this gap, especially if it can, can maintain above $12. Um, Airbnb, I want to see how we react. We're at some make it or break it resistance here. 170 70 make it or break it gap fill level gap fill level I want to see how it reacts towards this 177 level if we start forming resistance if it starts breaking down we're still going to be on track to fill that gap below at 160 11 which would be a pretty good price to consider buying for a nice micro trade so um that's what i'm keeping on, on my radar for um you know airbnb stock um in terms of limit limit is beginning to look like that the micro end is near looks like we're going to be seeing a pullback on this stock very bearish candlestick, very bearish pin, very bearish wick. 
towards these all time highs with some nice downside potential with some gaps to fill below. Limit looks very, very bearish. I'm gonna keep this on my radar to pick up some midterm, some leap put options on this one. This is looking like a hard sell back to about $437 within, I would say, one to two months. This is looking very, very bearish, this stock interested in puts on this one. We got a lot of resistance. We got a lot of bearish confirmations coming in. Look into puts on this for tomorrow. Gives those some time, ride them out. I'm thinking within a couple of weeks, we can really drop about 20, 30 points. Um, Ader had the first red day, had a little gap up, topped out in the low sevens, had a nice little red day. Not too interested in it from here. Overall, this is bearish. I'm um, gonna keep an eye on it, but not too interested in doing anything at the moment. But um, yeah, Aiders finally look like it's starting to flip and that does not look bullish at all. So um, Neo, Neo is at 1987. Um, not too interested in doing anything with this one. It looks a little micro bullish here, but we have to see how SPY reacts. Um, VIX is like the inverse. So VIX is like the inverse of the market. So when VIX goes up, SPY goes down. Um, with that being said, VIX doesn't look the most bullish right now, but it doesn't look the most bearish right now. I do believe this week we will see a gap fill to 2531. There's a gap to fill to 2531. And then that's where I want to see how the VIX reacts, right? Because it's been trading in this um, supply, this support zone for quite some time. Um, trying to form some lower highs, but we have this gap to fill. So I want to see how it reacts when it fills this gap at 2531. I think it's going to fill that gap this week. So overall, those are the main setups um, that I'm looking at right now. Walmart's just kind of chopping up towards the highs. So I would say the best ones that are going to be on my radar, waiting for these gaps to fill on the SPY. Hopefully we can fill those gaps this week. Waiting for a gap fill on Kesa. Those are all going to be uh, shorts and put opportunities. Netflix, waiting for a dip buying opportunity, waiting for signs of a bottom, some green bullish candlesticks coming in on the daily, waiting for that confirmation to buy and hold Netflix for a little bit for a nice little swing trade. Um, VERU, possible buy, more interested in buying the puts at $14.95. Limit is setting up for a great leap option. And that's mainly going to be it. So those are like the top setups on my radar right now. Just got to wait for these price lowers to trigger, mainly just for the SPY, waiting for these gaps to trigger. And we're keeping it simple. That's going to be it. It's going to be fairly simple. So, um, yeah, that's literally it, guys. Keeping it very, very simple. As of now, you know, we got to let these setups, these plays come to us. And those are going to be the best ones on my radar. We just got to wait for those price alerts to trigger. I'm in no rush into getting any trades. In terms of this week's trading price action, um, I haven't been finding it that lucrative that amazing um really just gotta reset and wait for the amazing place to come to us so i got the price alert set just waiting for them to trigger um like i said for the micro for like the short term being really just gotta wait things out there's nothing like truly amazing right now but if spy can start to fill these gaps there will be some great opportunities um in terms of like the micro opportunities i'm going to keep a close eye on limit and then waiting for the gaps to fill on spy Netflix is going to be that short term one where I'm going to keep a very close eye on once we could start to turn bullish, see signs of a reversal. I'll look to buy and swing uh, Netflix calls for a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's mainly it in terms of the new setup. Netflix is going to be that top watch along with uh, CSA looking for a gap close reversal on this play. So thank you guys so much for staying till the end of this video. If you do want to be a part of Traders Society, that's our private group. That's our team. Um, that's going to be that first link down below in the description. When you do join Trader Society, you get lifetime access. It's a one-time fee. Um, and just to give you some background, you get access to the video lesson library. That's going to teach you all of the gap trading strategies that my team and I is using to consistently make money within the stock market. You also get access to the video lesson library where you're going to learn not only the price action gap trading method strategies, the, the trading system, you also learn risk management, position sizing, psychology, and the mindset to trading. You will also have access to the chat room and to the daily live streams that we do every single day at Market Open, to the stock analysis, to the stock watch list, and to the members within the chat room where you could send us a personal direct message. There's a lot more to it. If you want to check it out, everything is explained on that first link down below in the description. So I will see you guys tomorrow live at Market Open. Thank you so much for tuning in to the end of this video.